So it doesn't work because uh, we actually need to modify the the get diseases in uh, the pathology service to return a disease list instead of list of diseases. We will take a little break and then we continue to solve that problem before we test it. Okay. All right, so let's uh, correct this problem and then so you can see the problem says there was unexpected error error while extracting response type diseases list because it's getting list of diseases but we have actually created diseases list so this problem we can solve it from pathology service pathology resource at this point so here instead of returning uh these just diseases we need to return a diseases list so let's create a new uh, let's create a new object of diseases list type so I'm going to say diseases list diseases list equal to new diseases list okay so I'm going to say oh, do we have this error so uh, okay fine so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to say diseases list dot dot sets. So so dot set diseases dot set. And we are going to yeah already is there, but I have made a mistake. Okay, so now this problem should actually be gone by now. So let me save, and then I'm going to test it right now. So I'm going to restart the pathology service because that is where we have the problem. So I'm going to click on this place and click on restart the pathology service. So let's see. So you can see pathology service started on port 8083. We are going to go ahead to test it right now. So let's see. Um, so meanwhile, I'm going to just make sure pathology service works. Localhost port. 8083 80, and this is diseases that is fine but we are now going to call it from the admission service so 8081 we are going to go to admission service what we want is diseases so we also have some error um, cannot deserialize model diseases list out of so let's see. Okay, so we have some errors, yes. So let's see where it's coming from. Okay, so let's see. Um, so we have return. So what we are going to return here is diseases list at this point. So not diseases. I'm going to copy it and paste it. It will be. And I'm going to restart everything, restart the pathology service. I needed to have saved it, so save. So, okay, the type to return is diseases list. One good thing in programming is to be able to debug. Debugging is very important. In fact, you actually spend more than half of the time debugging. You spend, let's say, 40% of the time writing codes or writing program and over 60 percent of the time debugging so keep that in mind as we continue so i'm going to save and i'm going to run this and restart the pathology service right so let's restart it all right so you can see tomcat started in 83. so let's come here i'm going to refresh the page so we have diseases list and take note that we are in we are in admission service and we are getting diseases list from admission service. So now we can assess the HR service. We can also assess the, the pathology service right from the admissions office or uh, admission service. So we are simulating what happens in a hospital. Somebody in admissions office admitting patients, but he wants to check which doctors are available. He can easily assess the HR service and get this data. And HR service is a microservice, a completely different application. The HR department of the hospital 
may actually be in another location. And we also have list of diseases, the lab uh, bandages this list. So, we, so the admissions office uh, service can actually assess what is in that place. So I'm actually going to stop here. And in the next class, we then continue with creating a discovery server I use and making a, a discovery client as well. I would like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Click on the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. Let me know by leaving a comment if this has been informative for you. Like and share this video and we'll see you in the next class.